Hi, this is Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is the Venom Cube. And before I review that, I would like you very, very much to watch this. If you're like me and you're constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource, it is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go onto Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread card. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. So it's another Rubik's Cube effect. Uh, and I didn't really get the Rubik's Cube thing. Well I, well, I did get it. I totally got it. And that's kind of why I didn't go there. Because I can't really deal with another obsession in my life. Uh, a bit late for that now, but we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, but the effect is, uh, you've seen the effect before. It's a matching cube effect. So Henry Harrius, uh, who, who's made the Venom Cube, um, had the Rubik's Dream, which was a matching cube effect, cube effect, and then he had the 360 version, and then Gregory Wilson um, has Rubicon as well. Uh, we also have all the Cube Free stuff, which isn't a matching cube effect, and there's the Cube of Chocolate, so there's a lot going on, and, and loads of other stuff. Um, and I'm not going to go into to all of them right now, even though I kind of want to, because I'm properly geeking out about this. But the effect is, you give someone the cube, uh, they mix it up, you have a cube, you show them that all the sides uh, apparently have matched. Okay, so it's a, it's, it's a great effect, it's a strong effect, it's very easy for them to replicate and talk about, you know, which is a, the, you know, that, that sort of thing is what makes a strong effect, is someone some can remember it and describe it very easily, and they can. Mix up Rubik's Cube, it matched. Um, so what's the difference? And we'll go into that in a minute. Well, the diff well the, I'll tell you now, because it's been very open. Like, like loads of other YouTube videos and review shows have talked about the idea of a shell, and that's the main difference here, okay? There is no shell. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. Um, but if you do, then you do anyway, so I, I don't think I'm giving anything away. So what do you get in this box? So you get a lovely box, which is, uh, again, shouldn't matter. Does do not it look? It's, like, look? it's sliding out into my hand. Look at that. Um, you get a nice bag, which is shouldn't be important, but it's nice. It's nice. Uh, and you get two really, really decent speed cubes as well. Uh, some very smooth and quiet, which is quite important for, for the other stuff if you want to get into it. Um, it's interesting. I can see the gimmick now. When I got this, I... Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. I, I, I'm not one of those people that sees an effect and has to know how it's done. You know, if I see an effect, I quite like not knowing. So I don't do that thing. It's like when you watch a film and you know there's a twist at the end. I don't try and work it out. So even though, yeah, I, I probably could have worked something out similar to what this was. I, I actually wouldn't have have got as close as I thought because this. Um, I'm looking at it now. I didn't know what it was. It's it's that good. It's in front of me. And when I watched the video. Right up to the moment that he gives the game away, I still didn't know how it was done, which I love, which which I know is a bit naive, but I, th I think partly because I don't really try. But uh, so, but that's quite an important thing. So you get all that with it, you get everything you get going. There is some prep involved, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so the, the 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 main difference to this, I think, to the other ones, is the fact that there's no shell and there is a lot less to do. Okay, it's nearly self-working this and I, I say that very carefully because I don't like the idea of saying self-working people think they don't have to put any work and of course you're gonna have to put the work in you're gonna have to do it unconsciously you're gonna be able to perform it uh, and, and if you want to do the added effect which you get on it um, you, you are gonna have to practice and learn some stuff so we'll get onto that now so as well as the matching effect you get this instant solve at the end and the instant solve is nothing new 
Um, if you've watched Cube 3, and this is what has restarted it all for me, I, I sat down the other day and I got this and I thought, I want to learn it properly because you, do, you don't have to know how to solve the Rubik's Cube to do this trick, okay? But I want to be able to do the end, the instant solve at the end, which basically means you do this trick, thanks very much, and then you take the cube um, and you instantly solve it. And there are many ways of doing this. Okay, I'm not going to go into that, but, but that takes a little bit of work. Now, again, you don't have to know how to do the Rubik's Cube to do the instant solve, but what I didn't want was to do something, make one mistake and not be able to solve it to get back to where I wanted to be, if you see what I mean. I don't like that lack of control. Um, so very important that you know you do not have to learn the solve to do it, but I think if you, it, I, I kind of wanted to because I want that, that level of control over the end bit. Uh, but you don't have to do the end instant solve, and that's the extra bit you get with this, which I think is great. So the, you get this, the, the, the really impressive thing for me was you get four instant solves at the end of it, and that's it way enough, you don't need any more than that, but there's a couple of them that are great. There's this recurring nightmare solve, which I think is really beautiful, the way it, you know, you show it mixed and then it, bang, and it's there. And even more, even quicker, I wouldn't say better, but quicker is this gear solve that you get on it, which I was up till like one in the morning last night just obsessing over these things. I've learned like seven instant solves now. So good points and bad points. Good points is it's a great effect. I think it's a brilliant effect and that's why there's been so many versions of it. Um, it's pretty much angle proof. I, there's really nothing to see. Um, it's easy. You know, it's not going to take any sleight of hands and, and, unless you start doing the instant solves at the end and that will of course take some practice. Um, and what else? I think that's pretty much it, yeah? It's, 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 it's a really good effect. Oh, and it's really well made. That's really important. You know, when you start getting into Rubik's Cubes and stuff like that, you want them to last, and it's, it's a really well made thing. And the, the really cool thing is the method. And we talk about this a lot, don't we? We say it shouldn't be about method. Well, I sort of disagree. I think if you're really uh, excited about the method, that will inform your performance because you really enjoy doing it. It gives you that element of enjoyment. And also, method is important if you're going to be performing the thing live, especially the first few times you perform it. Uh, because if it sort of takes the heat off you a little bit and it's quite easy and there's not loads to remember then again that that will make the performance easier and in the long run it, it, it's a different thing I think but those few performances so so the fact that the method is what it is gives you that freedom to perform it and not over worry because it is going to work um, the negatives are I suppose it's not for everybody you know it's Rubik's Cube magic um, it is for me and I'll go into sort of why, other reasons why I love it in a minute um, but for some people it just isn't going to suit you and that's totally fine, you're not into it and, and I get that. There's a sort of geekiness to it I suppose and if you're of a certain generation you're not going to be able to identify with the cube as much um, but I, I certainly can. Um, other challenges, I suppose there's this, when with the display you, you're showing six sides matched and and for intense purposes, in the perception of the, the audience, you, those six sides have matched. Uh, you are, aren't actually showing, I think you, I can say that. Um, there is a little bit of a display, very, very simple, very convincing. It's going to completely fly. But I suppose the way you display it, you could arguably look a little bit unnatural. But I think if the, the justification of putting the cubes like this um, is because you're showing that they're, you know, you wouldn't show them matching like that because people would have to, you, you want them in the same space. So again i'm nitpicking but there you go um so a, a, a brilliant effect and this has really started a whole thing for me it was so strong and the method was so nice that i thought i've got to learn it so as i said i went into i i, I first learned the rubik's cube uh, years ago from the mark elsden dvd rubik's remember which is great uh, but i didn't know where to go with it after that i didn't really want to do the blindfold thing it w wasn't really for me i don't do blindfold stuff close up uh, i think it's great but i just don't do it and so i kind of stop doing it and now this now this has opened up a reason to do it so I, I went back after getting this and playing with it and watched the Stephen Brundage Cube 3 download which my good friend uh, John Holt lent me uh, which I gave him back I think three years I had it something like that maybe even more I sent it back a week ago um, so I watched all of that uh, caned it learned everything from it which is, is brilliant by the way if you want to start at level one go to Cube 3 brilliant and the Elden DVD is very good as well but Cube 3 gives you all the instant souls and these beautiful kind of this thing, I can't remember what it's called, where you imagination solve, where the cube looks like it's solving itself and there's a toss solve and all that. That's brilliant. And that's a really good companion to this because if you then want to go on and do an instant solve at the end, you've got different ones to choose from. Uh, knowing what instant solve you're going to do is very important in the setup of the cube. Uh, and that's another thing. This does require some preparation. It's going to, you're going to be 10 minutes. Um, 
doing the prep and working out how you want to set it up, if you see what I mean. But but anybody can do it. It's it's not difficult. Um, so I love this. This is uh, this is I've really geeked out over this, and and I'm really excited to take this on stage. I'm taking this on stage um, at the end of the month, which which is going to be fun. Um, and I've now got this whole new world of magic, which is taking my time. Just just yeah, and I'm probably going on for too long, but I after getting into this, I've just spent four days, literally four days, doing nothing else I, to the detriment of my own health. I've got that feeling you get, you know, when you first learn card magic or you first get into it and that excitement of there's so, so much to learn. And that's what I think drives me that, and many of us, that joy of learning, you know, that's why we want to get all this stuff. We want to learn all this stuff. So I do recommend that if you want to get into this, do sit down and because it's really, it's really addictive stuff. It's really fun and really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Satisfying. <laughs> Such a what an anticlimax! What that pause for that word? That was like not an interesting enough word. Was it word? Was it to um to wait for? But there you go. <laughs> Pretty satisfying. So I think you might have guessed. I'm really deeply into this, and I've chosen to review every Rubik's cube trick on the market now. So please send me all of them. Uh, thanks very much. I'm going to see Tom Crosby shows 50 times and hang out with him, making my friend, and so he can teach me all this stuff. Um, have a great one. Uh, thanks very much. It's available from everywhere. I'll put some links below. Um, any questions, do ask, and I will, of course, answer them. Please like and subscribe. Please check out the Card Magic course, and, uh, and have a great day. Cheers.